a daughter in too deep in the world of drugs. Her mom desperately fighting nearly a decade to get her clean. Tonight, it's no longer about prevention for this parent. It's preparing for her child's next bad batch. Nadine Yanis shares her story. I just ripped her out. We laid her here. She flatlined. Her lips blue as ice, her breath silent, and her pulse gone. A 23-year-old woman, we'll call Susie, was dead until a deputy brought her back to life in a movie-like moment. Well, I don't know if anybody's seen the movie Pulp Fiction, but it was pretty much like that. Showing the life-saving efforts of the overdose reversal drug naloxone, also known as Narcan. I knew I had the tools to help this person, and I didn't have to watch someone perish. It was a moment Susie's mom is thankful for today. Narcan saved her life. Knowing her daughter has overdosed before, but never seeing it for herself. When you saw her OD and then be brought back to Narcan, what was your reaction to that? And it was startling and it was numbing and it was scary, especially when she sat right up. But it wasn't the first time and it wouldn't be the last. Will you accept treatment? Yes. Yeah. It's a battle this mother has struggled with Susie for nearly a decade. In 2012, she went on Anderson Cooper's talk show with Susie and her sister trying even then to break their addictions. What's it like for you to hear that? I'm elated and I really hope that they grab hold. But Susie never followed through with rehab and is still addicted to heroin today. Cooper even says eight days after this overdose, Susie OD'd again, and once again, Narcan saved her life. She wants to do good, and she wants to be an active member of society. She just wants to be normal, and there's always this monkey on her back. Both times Susie was saved, the Narcan was supplied through government resources. Orange County officials gave 900 units of Narcan to law enforcement last year. The price tag, about $25,000. But it's already credited with saving more than 120 lives. According to the CDC, government agencies have been stocking up on Narcan for the last two decades, but have needed to use it much more in recent years. The latest study from 2015 shows the number of organizations providing Narcan increased by 183 percent, saving more than 26,000 lives. And the epidemic has only gotten worse since that study. In Orange County alone, overdoses have gone up 71 percent just in the last year. That's why CDC officials want more than just police officers getting Narcan in their hands. They want users and loved ones to get it too. And what you might not even know that in 41 states, including right here in Florida, you could just walk up to a pharmacist and get Narcan yourself. The pharmacist will go in the back and get it. You don't need a prescription. You won't get in trouble. And in some cases, your insurance might even cover it. It's relatively cheap. The intramuscular injection is about $45. The nasal spray is about $110. CVS Health wanted to provide naloxone to more patients, be able to save lives. We want to give those patients a second chance at getting the recovery they need. But there are critics out there who say Narcan is not a savior. Instead, it's an enabler. These are just some of the comments posted on social media after Susie's overdose. Let her overdose. We should not be spending taxpayer money and resources reviving these people. Only problem is, she'll do it again tomorrow. We took these comments to the director of Sunrise Detox Center, Dennis Kaleda. I'd say it's just a little ignorance. Kaleda says addiction equals disease. When you're waking up every day and you need something to function, that's an addiction and it's a disease. Adding these addicts need help. So no matter if there's um, Narcan available or not, they're going to push the limits of it because that's what their disease tells them that they need to do. If your son or daughter overdosed, would you want them to have something easily accessible to bring them back to life or would you just want them to die? For this mom, the answer is no. She now has Narcan at home for her daughter. You just try to have a glimmer of hope, but it's diminishing. I, I, it's, up to, it's up to her.